Are you sick of being this guy? Getting outplayed by other wizards and looking like a scrub? Well, in this guide, I'm going to show you how to make great plays in PvP to escape with boatloads of loot and become the wizard to be feared. The wizard is a glass cannon class, high DPS and low health. The stats you want to focus on as a wizard is will, which is your magical damage, and knowledge, which is your casting speed. The higher these stats, the more damage and the quicker you will cast your spells. You can buy or find loot that will boost these stats, but there's more on that later. There's three ways to cast magic as a wizard. The staff, spell book, and crystal bowl. The spell book and crystal bowl have faster cast speeds than the staff, although the staff actually does more damage. The best way to use these is to have a staff and a book or a ball equipped. Use the staff for further away targets or PVE, so you are doing as much damage as possible. And for up close PVP encounters, use the book or ball for faster casts so you can get your spells off quicker. It's important that you use the items correctly as charging a fireball with a staff in a barbarian's face is a quick way to meet your end. You will almost always be running two passives and three damage spells. Haste and Invis are such important parts of your kit as they help you get into fights and exit fights very safely. Haste gives you 12% faster speed for 12 seconds and Invis makes you invisible for about 5 seconds while also hasting you by 5%. These spells can be cast on yourself or others. When using these two combined, you always want to haste first as it lasts for 12 seconds and then cast your invisibility because that only lasts for 5 seconds, and you'll get a 17% haste buff on top of that. People can still hear you running around when you're in Viz, so beware of that. You can confuse them by jumping, so your footsteps aren't heard, or you can take off your shoes for less audible cues for your attacker. Another great thing about Invis is if you're being chased down by somebody while PvE is chasing you, you just go Invis to push the aggro onto the assailant. These two spells segue perfectly into Magic Missile, as one of your best entry strats into a fight is to haste, invis, then run past your opponent, turn around and Magic Missile them in the back. Magic Missile is a great spell for PvP and PvE. It shoots 10 missiles that all do around 10 damage each. You use Magic Missile for most PvE encounters and aim at the head for maximum damage. Zap is a fast spell that taps for 20 magic damage and has no headshot multiplier when it connects with the target. It is also one of the fastest spells to recover when meditating to restore your used spells. Now the fireball is the big boy spell, doing lots of damage plus 15 splash damage. So when using it, if you aren't guaranteed a headshot, aim for the feet instead for that extra splash damage. You could think of these three spells like this to make it easy to remember what is good for what. Fireball is kind of like a rocket launcher. Magic missile is like a machine gun. And zap is kind of like a pistol. Use the rocket launcher to do massive splash damage, the machine gun to get lots and lots of damage off quickly, and the pistol just to tap at them. Chain lightning is also another great spell that does massive damage when used right, although you do have the risk of hitting yourself or your teammates with the chain lightning too, so be careful about that. Lightning strike is another great spell. It says it takes about four seconds to land, but it's more like two, and it's great for hitting enemies behind barrels or peeking corners. It deals about 35 magic damage and slows the target's movement speed by 20% for one second. Ice Bolt is also a really cool spell as it does about 30 damage and slows the target down for one second. Ignite is such a cool spell. It can be cast on yourself or others and sets the target's weapon on fire for 15 seconds. When hitting with an ignited weapon, you'll deal five additional magic damage and burn the target for one second. You can run Ignite with a Rondal Dagger and a Crystal Bowl and attack people by hasting, then igniting your dagger, then going invisible, running up behind them, popping out of invis and stabbing them in the head for all that extra damage. I recommend the Zap, Fireball, Magic Missile, Haste, Invis setup while you are learning Wizard, but you do you. All the spells are very, very viable. Once you get the fundamentals of Wizard down packed, you should definitely start experimenting with which spells you like to combo up together. Depending on when you watch this video, some of these spells may be slightly better or slightly worse as the devs are constantly changing things to try and balance out the game. So do be warned, make sure you check out the Dark and Darker wiki if you're a little bit confused on these stats. A few perks, you have Arcane Feedback, which is each time you do damage with an Arcane spell, your spell casting speed and magic power bonus increases by 1% per stack and can stack up to five times at once. Arcane Mastery increases magic power bonus by 5% when using arcane spells and reduces cast time by 1 second. 
This one mainly applies to the magic missiles though. Fire Mastery increases magic power bonus by 5% when using fire spells and changes burn to 5 damage over 5 seconds. Ice Shield grants 20 armor and inflicts frostbite on melee attackers for 0.5 seconds which decreases movement speed and action speed by 15%. Mana Surge increases magic damage by 10% pretty self-explanatory. Now melt is when you're using fire damage, the target's physical damage reduction is reduced by 10% for five seconds. Quick chant increases spell casting speed by 10%. Reactive shield activates an arcane shield that lasts for three seconds when you take damage and it'll absorb about 10 damage. Sage increases knowledge by 10%, increasing your casting speed. I really only use Mana Surge, Sage, Quick Chant, and Arcane Mastery when I'm playing on my wizard, as I think those are the best perks for me. They either increase your damage or your casting speed, and that's literally everything I need. If you are a tankier wizard with better gear, you can try Ice Shield for sure, or any of the other perks, but this is what I recommend. But once again, once you get the fundamentals down packed, experiment and see what works for you and your build. Intense Focus reduces casting time of the next spell you cast by 0.1 seconds. Meditation allows you to rest and recharge your spells. Spell Memory allows you to use spells. Spell Memory 2 allows you to use another book of spells while still having the first equipped. Arcane Shield places a shield around you that absorbs 20 damage for 15 seconds. Once done absorbing, it explodes, dealing 5 magical damage to all hostile targets within 2 meters. For your skills, you always want to run spell memory, otherwise you can't cast any spells and you're basically a useless wizard. <laughs> Meditation or spell memory two are the only options for me. If you have lots of knowledge, you can equip 10 spells in total at once and recharge your spells with potions of clarity or campfires or just by resting. I use meditate and spell memory though, so I've got spells and I can recharge them when I need because I use a lot of spells. Although not a skill, a handy thing to know is that wizards have very high magical interaction speed, meaning activating shrines, portals, or reviving somebody at a res station is much faster than other builds. Which means, in a pinch, you can open a portal and escape very quickly. The best gear is one with rolls that boost the stats that you care about. Having a purple spell book is cool, but if it only does plus three at magical healing, it's not really great for a wizard build, is it? You want gear that will boost your health, movement, will, and knowledge. The rolls are what random buffs the gear adds, and you want to look for extra magical damage because obviously that means that your spells hit harder, which makes you more effective. For example, if all your gear had plus two or plus three magical damage, you would literally almost two hit every single opponent that you see. Now, not all of us are stonked out with gold here, so some cheeky bargain buyers for you are Rawhide Gloves, always have one will and one knowledge applied. Loose Pants have one agility, and you can also get a star from the vendor for cheap that does more damage than the regular one. Mystical Vestments also have one will added, and we'll be doing future videos centered around gear, so if you want more information, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification to find out when that video will be released. The best thing I can tell you for dealing with PVE is firstly, never ever ever walk backwards. Doing this slows you down drastically. So try walking away from enemies to the side with A or D rather than holding S. You pretty much wanna take your S key off your keyboard when playing this game. <laughs> It feels super weird to start with, but it's very important. That will stop all those ghost hitboxes from PVE hitting you where you scratch your head thinking, how the heck did that hit me? Bait an attack out of your PVE and run away, cast your spell as you're holding W and then turn around and unleash on your target once it's ready. This will keep you as mobile as possible and, and help you avoid getting ghost hit by the PVE. These are simple yet very useful strategies. Also, always aim for the head. What you want to do is use your magic missile, aim at the target's head, the PVE target's head, and make sure every single one of those magic missiles is hitting that PVE and you will kill it there and then. When it comes to PVP, there are many different things to take into account. Rogues, rangers, and wizards are your toughest class matchups, as rogues are really quick and can surprise you out of stealth to kill you in three hits. I can't tell you how many times I've screamed like a little girl being jump scared by a rogue. The ranger can force you to stay at range and not let you get close enough to land fireballs, zaps, etc. The best strategy for these two classes is to haste, invis, run behind them and magic missile them in the back. 
That's the best strategy. Neither class is super tanky and you should do a lot of damage this way. For most of the other builds, you want to keep your distance and fireball their feet for splash damage. Zap them for a cheeky 20 pop of damage and keep hasting and vizzing to stay out of harm's way. The more fights you get into, the more comfortable you'll be. However, picking the right fights is crucial. If I'm a default geared wizard, I don't want to be fighting a fully kitted out barbarian with a cape. I'm going to run away from that fight. This video will definitely have helped you in some way if you've made it this far. So thank you so much for giving me your time and come check me out on Twitch at JacksonGames underscore for live gameplays or to ask me your questions directly. Click this next video if you want to know exactly how to avoid all damage from every enemy in Darker Darker and I'll see you there.